I do want you to know that, uh, you know, don't worry, he took Zach to the movies all the time, don't think he ever hit you. <laughs> he became a wonderful father. To me, I was a little, you know, it was a little different. But I will say this, uh, my father ministered for years and was available to everybody all the time. Uh, not to me at that time. Not to me. Uh, I did wind up getting uh, divorced. My father, my mom, and dad divorced. My dad and I moved in with each other. We were licking each other's wounds. I was, we were very careful around each other from all the fights and everything. We walked to go to the kitchen together. And, oh, I'm sorry, were you going that way? Okay, go ahead. It's fine. <laughs> and we were very careful, very careful not to have any arguments. And we really loved each other and respected each other. And for those of you who think that he wasn't in ministry for the last 10 years or so, uh, that man poured his life into me in the 10 years. Uh, we spent uh, time, just so much time together. I mean, when I would go up to my friends, they'd say, we're a senior. How come he's not with you, you know? And uh, he just poured so much. He had to, uh, I would say, to me, the most, to me, the most effective ministry of his life this last 10 years, as he poured his life and his love and his care into me. Uh, many times uh, with this very Bible would show up in front of a house that I was not uh, to be at. And he would show up and a lot of my gold teeth brothers would run out and say, Jerry, preach out there again. Uh, with his Bible, and I can see he's got a gun under it. You got to come home. <laughs> you got to come home. And, and uh, guys would go looking for him. Pastor Jerry, don't worry. I'll, I'll find him. I know he, I saw him wandering around last night. But anyways. The, uh, dad uh, stick with me through thick and thin, and I love him dearly, and I feel like he's right with me. I, I, I feel like maybe I'll be the one that would, you know, be crying or messed up the most, but I'm just telling you, I just feel such an incredible peace from God. I feel that everything that that man is and everything that he was that is beautiful from God has just been imparted, and I feel like he just took a big barrel of oil and just poured it all over everybody. And just take anything that, that you uh, got from them or anything that the Lord would deliver. Because I just felt there's just an anointing that uh, the second he went, I, I, did, I, I just started worshiping God. I just started praising God. It was just amazing. I, I, I thought I'd just fall apart. And uh, man, it just blessed me so much to actually see my first person in my life. I mean, we had Sharon, you know, and, and that was so hard for me. I couldn't even come see her. Because I knew that I didn't understand this life and death stuff, just so confusing to me. And when he left, I was okay, and I am okay, and I'm all right. And I'm sure I'll probably cry or whatever. And, and just one last thing, I was thinking: if in fact there's anybody in this room that owes him money, he <laughs> can... <laughs> can you come on? I'm sorry, sir. 